All right, so it's about uh, two minutes past six, and I'm going to call the regular select board meeting to order. Um, it's July the 18th. Uh, we haven't met since the month of June. Oh, no, we did meet. We had a special meeting, right? That's correct. Yeah, but. That was July 1, a long time ago. So first item is to approve minutes from our last regular um, select board meeting, which was June the 20th. And uh, we also have a, had a special select board meeting, a uh, short one on July the 1st. Um, do them separate. So I can go. Do them separate. So the first, so have a motion for the regular select, to approve the minutes Please. from the regular select board meeting. So moved. Second. Okay, any discussion or changes? I saw um, Lucian had made a mention and um, Casey corrected or someone corrected the uh, one thing about the um, sign. sign and blinking light. Um, I, I had one small thing about the particle electric thing, but whatever. I don't think it's actually doesn't change the meaning that much. So I'll let it roll. Any other does anybody else have anything? All in favor of approving the minutes as written from June twentieth, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next, could we have a motion to approve the minutes for a special select board meeting, which was Monday, July 1st? So moved. I'll second. Um, at, so minutes on this are very short because all we did was had an executive discussion about contract issues. So I assume nobody has changes. All in favor of approving minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I'll abstain since I was Oh, there. and you're abstaining since you weren't there. And you didn't vote oh, yeah, in the I first one because you weren't there. Right. Duly noted. I'm signing both of those, sending them back around. Next, set, adjust agenda. Does anybody have anything they want to add, change, delete, shorten up? I'm gonna add. I'm. I'm gonna suggest. Sorry. I. I'm gonna suggest a short, short executive session after old business, but before adjourn. Uh, regarding contracts, I think would be the reason for doing it to include town manager. Um, just an informational session about a contract that we had up. So move. Okay, move. so move. Adjust, Second. Adjusted agenda. Move. All right. Anything else? All up. Go ahead. In that context, can we also discuss things that aren't appropriate to be discussed about economic development fund? So essentially, we'll. And things? So maybe we should have two. Two items, That would be two, no, a separate. So okay. let's do two executive sessions. One is for Just to know contracts. We're, the we're doing contracts first, and then we're doing. Um, uh, Economic Development Fund. Which are, yeah, loans that are outstanding about people's personal, Good. yeah. So we're discussing that Closed in rooms. regular open meeting. Well, yeah, just so generally. Okay. About what we've got remaining and where we're at. This we we Sherry has we some specific things she wants to dig actual, into. Um, specific okay. accounts and amounts okay. in open session. Uh, yeah, the in session should be very brief. Right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. Correct. Uh, all right, so you were going to move that. Moved it to newly adjusted agenda. Second. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right, next communication from the audience. Hi, Doug. Um, next uh, town manager report. Sean Fielder, tell us what's been happening out of your office. Okay, so um, we did, uh, if everybody recalls, on June 20th, select board meeting, we had that heavy rain event that afternoon, early evening, so obviously we had a little bit of follow-up. I want to thank Tom and his crew. And I did, you know, we had a couple of washout situations, and uh, they did a really nice job of getting everything back in order, if I'm not mistaken, by Friday afternoon. So I appreciate their work on that. And uh, so uh, a lot of things that were taken care of pretty quickly, and that was a good thing to, to see. Um, 
have been working uh, ongoing on some processing for the quick claim deed information for the Judah Vine uh, project. In a nutshell, uh, there was a piece of land that there was uh, some question on the right of way for uh, 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 Scutney, Anthony's, and the Episcopal Church. So both of those entities have been involved with discussions. It's been three years now. And uh, the good news is we got all of our paperwork in order from uh, all the uh, parties this week. So um, I'll ensure, I'll check in with Bill Davies uh, next week. He's out this week, but I'll check in with Bill next week so that I think that process is taken care of. And um, that's good to have uh, wow. in order. So that pretty much cleans up the boundaries in the back of the library. That's law. correct. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. So that's completed. Um, we have been ongoing. Uh, uh, we had a, a field visit after the June 20th meeting um, where a number of uh, folks met um, to look at the Creamery Road project. This is LVRT, Lamoille Valley Rail Trail project. And uh, just as a reminder, um, we have the issue of the railroad tracks existing next to the uh, historic depot. So we uh, have the discussion now with Historic Society involved with leading that charge up. Uh, v Trans officials, the design engineers. Uh, Eric's been involved with the, the meeting that we had in early July just to figure out what is a what is a good way to, for us to go on the project. So we're still um, getting our information in order. Um, we're we're at a point where uh, VTrans is just reviewing information in regards to what can be allowed and you know what we should do. Um, sorry, what can be allowed is how I should say it. And uh, Wiz and I just talked about this before the meeting started. You know, we'll be at a point in this next couple of weeks where uh, it's really going to be a local community level decision. You know what we want and how we want to go. So you know that's going to be something we'll be talking about as a group, if you will. So Wiz, I don't know if you want to add anything on that. No. I'm See guessing. what the train has to say. Sure, I'm thinking it's going to be on our next agenda, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So on uh, other uh, LVRT work, um, had, did coordinate with uh, Ken Brown. He's leading up and is providing support on the deck, re uh, deck and railing for bridges 38 and 40. Uh, I was involved with the uh, contractor selection process. So uh, that's uh, Northern Border Regional Commission funded work. Uh, we actually, um, Eric and I met with Ken and uh, Chris Temple from DeWolf Engineering um, two days ago. Or was that yesterday? I've lost track. <laughs> Sorry. Recently, okay. Um, <laughs> where uh, DeWolf Engineering is, uh, again, they're, they're involved with providing the designs for the decks and railings. And um, we should see some design information coming out within this next month so that the uh, project would be in a position to go to bed for uh, putting the decks and railings on. So that's good. That's anticipated for this year. That's going from here to East Hardwood. Those two bridges that are... Pretty rough to cross right now. On the uh, Yellow Burn project, um, we've been getting a lot of support from various partners, but um, Allison Lowe helped out on getting a lot of the narratives and information in order on the uh, U.S. Economic Development Association uh, grant application. That's a $3 million ask. That was submitted uh, July 1. Um, the way that works is that by the early part of August, we would get a determination from EDA. And if uh, we're hopeful, we'll get a responsive decision. If that is the response, if that is the decision we get from the uh, agency, the, we would be providing more uh, information to uh, firm up the uh, grant uh, allocation, if you will. So that's basically where that's at. I would add that we've had a lot of support. I mentioned partners, um, agency of commerce and community development. Um, the, the the regular planners that have been involved with this right along, we have support from um, Northern uh, Forest Group. Uh, Steve Rhodes is the individual there. He's actually helping us with trying to figure out what we can get for support on new market tax credits. We have a lot. Uh, we're trying to close up the permitting aspects of this, so we're making some progress. Um, you know, we uh, there has been a lot of energy put into the project, and um, you know we're hopeful we'll get a favorable decision with EDA. And for what it's worth, I had a direct communication with the director of the region for EDA, as well as uh, one of their support staff. They know about Hardwick. They know about the positive things happening here. They know about the Yellow Barn project, and frankly, they're excited about it. But that doesn't—we shouldn't take that to mean you know it's going to give us a favorable decision or not. So, for what it's worth. So one—I don't know if you're going to say this, but one. 
big, I think a big recent development with that project is that um, Christy, it's Christy it's the Agency of Commerce, Farnham, yeah. Farnham, Christy Farnham, is, has taken over scheduling the meetings and she's hosting the meetings for the, so like they, it feels like that we've kind of moved inside the, inside the state group there and they're helping to facilitate um, the final permitting and that kind of thing. So it seems, seems like a really good move. So uh, some additional on the uh, LVRT noted here, and that is that um, um, we do have, uh, we're, we're working toward getting our uh, engineering design services contract in order. This would be for the work on the sl from Slap Hill out to the east, and that's with uh, Summit Engineering. That was approved at the last uh, meeting, so things are progressing there. Um, on the Bridgman Roof Reservoir Project, we do have official notice that we have been awarded the Vermont uh, DEC State Revolving uh, Fund application. And uh, just to quote what Ashley Luck, who is our contact, indicated on this, the loan is eligible for up to $126,000 or 30% of the anticipated loan value in subsidy and potentially additional subsidy. In basic terms, what that equates to is it does line up with what we anticipated when we initially were going to bond vote that we anticipated getting a favorable reduced rate, if you will, on what we end up borrowing in the end. I checked with A&E on this and I said, look, with this statement, is it in line with what we expected? And it was a yes. What that means in basic terms is a very small incremental increase for the users on the water system to get a pretty significant capital project completed. So that's the that's the meat and potatoes there. Do we have a um, indication on what kind of design they're going to go with for that roof? Yep. So uh, we actually did. Uh, it's further down in my notes, but I can oh. comment on it now. We have a. Uh, we had a pre-bid uh, design for the construction side of the uh, project today, and uh, what we're looking at is steel I-beams that go across the 35, 36 foot span, excuse me. On top of that, you get a uh, corrugated material. On top of that, you get a plywood material. On top of that, you got an ED, um, EDPM material. And it's got a pitch built into it. So it it's, uh, it's just a rubberized roofing material, basically is what that is for a flatter sloped roof. So um, on that, some detail. Um, the bids for construction are due July 31. The uh, A&E is going to be at just immediately following the bid openings, um, make a recommendation on uh, who they feel is the responsible bidder. Bids and then, are due July 31? As the bids for the construction are due July 31. Wow. We have to be aggressive on this yeah. because obviously construction yeah, season yeah. is slipping away. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the roof is going to be a flat roof? It's not going to... It's going to have a little bit of a pitch built into it, but it's, yeah, what is it, maybe a 2 on 12 slope? Yeah, it's going to be a small bit. A little bit of a pitch built into so it. So should rain, but not snow. Yeah. Yeah, but it is designed for around it's like a hundred square, hundred pounds per square feet. So you know, it's definitely uh, it's set up so that the load issues are not going to be a problem. That's something that we expressed right throughout this last three or four months. And eighty is uh, they have that covered. And corrosion from underneath is not going to be an issue. No, uh, what they'll do on the beams is the the beams will be coated uh, with a material so that they are protected. It's an epoxy painting that's approved for water supply applications to make sure you've got those protected from a rusting situation. So that's all uh, That's all covered. Anything else on Bridgman? A couple details. The bids will be, uh, a recommended construction bidder would be, uh, rec would be picked by A&E. So just greasing the skids for the select board now. What we would do is on the August 1st select board meeting uh, with the schedule holding I've just outlined, I'd be seeking, uh, we'd be seeking resolution from the select board to go ahead with the recommended contractor, knowing that we'll do the uh, A&E will be assisting with the final bid analysis and getting the bank and bond information in order for the construction firm. At the same time, the select board, uh, we would ask for, uh, I would ask for authorization that the town manager can execute the notice of intent to award the contract. We'll be doing that with support from A&E. We would be closely collaborating with the Vermont DEC Facilities Engineering Division so they can sign off with that, uh, with all those steps in order. Uh, what A&E relayed to me today is we would anticipate if everything goes smoothly doing construction early September, 
the bids and the information clearly outlined that the project completion is uh, set for December 15th, 2019. So that's where we're at right now. <coughs> and that's all, and that's assuming Tom's guys are taking the roof off. Uh, that's a correct statement. Yeah. So um, we did make the determination, uh, so everybody is aware, we made the determination that for us to be able to salvage a couple of extra to maybe three weeks of time, the uh, this schedule is tough enough to achieve with December 15th, and we all know last year what happened, winter came November 1st, so we know we're pushing the envelope, made the determination that we could uh, advance the schedule, and that would be an advantage for us so the Tom and his crew um, are working on between other projects and when some other high demand issue or even medium demand issue isn't uh, needed to be done they're they're plugging that in uh, our observation is it's not a significant disruption to other projects that are happening so that's the narrative there and didn't you Tom did somebody said you have to improve the road a little bit in there too yeah, for, for construction I'm gonna uh, extend a couple culverts in there so they can get a crane up there if they, if they need one and uh, I'm gonna put some gravel down on the road up through there some just some bank runs there's not much of a road right now no. yeah so Sherry were you gonna say something um, I was just checking to see when the next meeting is, whether or not you need um, that authorization. It's August 1 is what was, we, we really are, would be striving for August 1st, the next meeting would be August 15th. August 1 is what we would shoot for. Right. We should have, we would have uh, the information in order. A&E would have that information <coughs> processed. Uh, Jason Booth and I talked about this today. And that and would be soon enough to, to yep. post it and do all that. Okay. Yep. That's that's the we can make that work. Pretty aggressive. I hope we can get it done. It'd be nice to get that back online. Okay, so a um, couple other things, uh, just in the interest of time, um, did renew position agreements with uh, Carol Plant and Lee King at um, Hardwick. Um, uh, area restorative justice center and also met with them to look at the program scope moving forward and the budget uh, moving forward this next year as you would infer continued involvement participation in the yellow burn planning meetings and uh, i already talked about this took part in the vast the wolf uh, inspection of bridges 38 and 40 eric was in on those uh, so everybody is advised a roadside mowing is scheduled to begin july 29th it'll be all class two and class three roads uh, Tom's coordinating with Summit Consulting on this. They have our roadmap. Uh, we have communicated with them, so they are they are planning to start Monday the 29th. We've had um, you know good communications with them, so we're in a good position. I already commented on Bridgman, um, and that's all I have for manager's report. Do we only mow class two and class one? Wait, one and two. Class two and three. Two and class three. one. Oh, okay. State highway. Okay. So it would right. not include uh, 14, Route 15, uh, Route 14, right. 15, no or 16. Highways and no class four. And uh, actually, I, uh, we are going to put a post up on the town's website on this, so folks are advised, and then also on the front porch forum, just so a little information piece goes out. Yep. Yeah, it's already does, up on the website. Does okay. that also include like clearing the brush around the fire hydrants and stuff in town, or is that some other separate project? No, they'll be going around the village too, toward oh, the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we. We got a brush problem too. Right. Separate from. Tom on that. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that, Danny. But there we go again. We only got what five thousand dollars in the budget. I mean, we, uh, it's it's another thing that we talk about every year during the budget season, and we don't do nothing about it. And at a dollar, I think Adam was a dollar ten or dollar twenty. Dollar ten or dollar twenty. A Foot. square foot or something like that or linear foot so that don't go too far is that for somebody with a mower on an arm to drive along no we're past that point we are yes well there's no there's plenty of that we could do yeah it I seems like there it. are places that would be helpful okay so we're missing a point here and that is that uh and we talked about this and yep. the, the the plan is to at some of those areas that are getting critical those will be addressed once the weather cools off and the highway crew will be doing that so oh okay that's it i wouldn't want anybody okay. to think here we're not doing anything this year we're gonna okay. you know, tom's talked about this we may, we may an attempt to get some of it picked up and then we got to figure out moving forward you know tom pointed out look we don't have a you know we don't have a chipper anymore so you know what do we do on that issue so that's something we need to be thinking about and budgeting moving forward if we're going to keep it in-house or lease it rent it whatever so, yeah all right so we'll limp through this year 
and strategize for a better solution starting next summer? Is that kind of the... Yeah, we need we definitely need to do something, but a lot of it there we definitely got to start cutting. It's if you go at look at some of the roadsides, I mean a lot of it is you know little trees about you know two inches in diameter, so it's past the point of you know. J Jason's got a big new mower on a big loader. Who's that? Pete. On a loader? Yeah. Really? So I saw the state go through Route 14 once big with a boom, big mower, big and that was taken off. On a loader? Yeah, on a big loader. Really? We might be able to make some speed. We'll look at it. I'll get a picture of it, show you. <laughs> We're going to have to do something pretty soon. It's a little ugly when that happens, but it'll... Yeah, it is. But it's cost not for very long. No. No, as soon as the wood turns a little bit, it's, when it's white, you see it, but as soon as it turns a few few weeks, it turns brown. And, and then stuff starts to grow on but it again. It's to the point where we got roads that are almost one lane. <laughs> and some people aren't going to be happy either. But we're going to have to do something pretty soon. Trees are growing in a lot of places. We can talk about that in another time, but I'll get you some information on that. Yeah, that'd be neat to see. Yeah, especially if we demo it. Yeah, we could demo it for a week. <laughs> Thanks, that was great. He's used to that when I go down there, so he's used to making Call you next like year. Yeah, uh, if we want to demo it again. Well, yeah, I'm sure, I know, I know a demo, you, you ran it. See if it works. Yeah, it's done in Morseville? Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you information. I got to call in tomorrow because I got a stump grinder coming. So. Yeah. Anything else? I mean, we're at the point where we're drastic. We're not going to be able to pay that. Um, I agree. I, literally, I know it's expensive to have those guys cut. Right. But if you if you can put a big mower on it, right, on and then an stay arm. after it. Well, what we used to do, which they don't do no more, and this probably ain't the right term, but we use iron convicts. Yeah. You know, we have eight yeah. or ten of them come over, and we'd use the Hardwick Light Department's chipper. And we'd, we would spot the chipper in the truck, and we would just pull it, and they would cut and just go to town. Right. And we'd Good spend right. about three, four thousand dollars a year, and they would, those eight guys would do a lot of work. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We even had an escape. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it is up on Houston. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I'll get that information to you. Yeah. We yeah maybe it. there's a we mechanized need. way to do it, and really cost effective. Cost eff we need to be, do it cost effective. Well, it'd be neat to have it late fall, yeah. you know, when things are starting to freeze down, when we're settled down, and then yeah. you can just send guys out with a machine and just, and just start whacking things back. You know, that's our downtime. And it's also and easier to see what's actually woody that's yeah. coming out versus right. just greenery. It's not just all leaves. Right. Because it does, it makes, you know, yeah, makes a little bit of mess, but it's, uh, we need it. We, we that's an interesting idea, though, doing it later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tom, do you want to carry on with... Uh, Not really. But come on. Uh, I think you got my email. I don't know yes. if Sean emailed it and everybody else to get yep. a copy of Not it me. stuff. Not you? No. <laughs> Not on the preferred list. No? <laughs> huh? No, I was... Did you uh, notice? Uh, this, no, they, he's, he's <laughs> talking about the list of projects now, so... Yeah, there's stuff we've been doing. Uh, I, I, I won't go through everything because there's, 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 the there, there's, there's a list. <laughs> uh, we've been... Uh, from one end of town to the other, other. Of course, some of it's doing flooding, some of it's not. Uh, we've been spending the last, I think, week up, I think, up on West Hill. Uh, we replaced, let's see, one, two, three, four culvert driveways up there that needed it in the ditch line. We've improved it from the Vermont house down through that dip. That was all re-ditched today, and a couple of new culverts, and another ditch area up above. We've done West Hill extension, fixed the culvert crossing there. Up on top, we replaced another culvert, two more culverts going down Bunker. Uh, we fixed a uh, place over on Porter Brook for a culvert repair over there. We ditched the entire thing on Porter Brook Road, so that's all done over there. Oh, God, I could go on and on for ditching. <laughs> we've done so far. Glenside, uh, you didn't mention. Uh, yeah, we've Matt. done Glenside. Macville. Like Porterbrook, uh, not Macville yet, but we're heading that oh, way soon. Yep. Uh, there's a culvert that was 
sticking out of the ground. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. I'll pass Charlie Volts there. Yeah. We yeah. put a temporary fix on on that one for right now, but that one's got to be completely ripped out and redone because the you center did. of it's completely squished. What you had to that? do something to that in mud season, I think, didn't that pop? Did you guys push it back? Oh, during, during that heavy yeah. rain, it, it, I mean, that thing came up. It must have rolled out of the ground like a foot and a half, two, two feet. Yeah. So, yeah. So that will be done, and then we'll ditch out in Macville area up through there, and then we'll head up through the woods there, up around that sharp corner there, up past the quarry there, where it's, where the water's been running out the road there, and passing that culvert. So we'll get get, get that all done. Uh, uh, right on the pavement on Macville Road, right in front of my house. Yeah, across I, the road there's where it's washed yeah, and I into fixed, the trail park. I fixed my side this oh, week, but the, but the uh, pavement's starting to break on because everybody cuts that corner. On the inside of the corner? corner? I would have done it if I'd had a couple of signs, but I didn't dare sit up in the road. Get hit. Get hit, but you need to pull it, you know what I mean? It washed next to the road, right. so you need to just reshape it. I don't think you need any material. Because everybody cuts that corner, so they're starting to break the pavement. Really? Okay. They, yeah, they were on the other side, too. Uh, stage house during the uh, heavy rain that we had had there, uh, we did lose that road there, down below there with the culvert cross. Uh, that was an 18 inch, now it is a 36 inch culvert that crosses that. So that should hopefully take care of that. But same thing there, we got work to do because we've got to uh, put uh, headers on both sides and build that up. Same thing with Stratton Road that kind of collapsed down over, so we got to dig that up and put new headers on that side. Is that on Stratton Road near Jan Howard's? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think there was one over by on Scott Road too, there was a culvert had a Thing. Yeah, that's right on the edge, but that's that's fine. It's just kind of washed down right there. Right, right, yeah, that just needs a little bit more stone. Yeah. Uh, Eric wanted to know what we're going to do for road rebuilds this year. Uh, the uh, uh, grant money that we're going to be getting, uh, I plan on using that on Hardwick Farms Road. Uh, we'll start right at the bridge here, right off from Center Road, and go all the way up to the top of the hill. And we'll use that there, because then that way we can build a retention pond, and we'll be in compliance with the Clean Water Act there. So we'll get that done. And then the other part of the road that I feel that we need to do is uh, Hopkins Hill from like Jeff Perry's all the way up to the very top and top of the hill there and get get that redone. And there's a couple of culverts there that we need to unbury and stuff. Besides uh, so that, uh, meter pits. Uh, hopefully we can get Mike and those guys going on that here in another week or two because we've got another guy going on vacation next week. So. Uh, flushing has been done, so hopefully everybody hasn't been getting as much dirty water now. And, uh, we were a little bit behind on that because there was still snow on the ground and never even crossed our minds when we usually do it in April. Uh, so, uh, but besides that, we got reservoir that we're going to be working on. Uh, another washout that, that we had was up in the bend area where the old underpass used to be. The water got underneath the uh, uh, retaining wall and washed out underneath the road. So that pavement that we paved there last year was sunk down. Uh, so we went up there and cut that out and we put 15 yards of concrete in there. So you now, when you go up there, you're gonna see a con concrete pad there that's actually running up against retaining wall to hold back the water. So, so you, you told me that and it went through the other day and I actually had to look for it because it's, it sounds like a lot, but it must be most of that went down against the retaining wall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All you see is a little narrow strip. You kind of have to right, look down it. through. Yeah. It doesn't look like much on the top. No, no. Yeah. So hopefully that should be good. But uh, we'll continue on doing what, what we've been doing. And like I said, we still got a lot. Still got a lot of cul culverts here on the list, and a lot of ditch work to do. And uh, so hopefully the plan of the tank this summer is that uh, I plan on being in the grader, and I'd like to keep Pearly and Todd and and uh, Spencer in the uh, ex excavator doing ditch work and uh, installing some more culverts and get Mike and uh, Kenny and uh, Ed going on the uh, meter pits. So, On the ditching that you've done so far, is that most where it's steep? Are you lining with stone? Or We're going to line with stone, or? but some of it's not going to be. I, I got the hydro seeder over at the garage right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we went down to Morrisville the other day and got it when it was yeah. raining. Yeah. So we'll be doing that next week too. So. And you can do that on slopes that are not as steep, but that they don't. Less need than seven percent. More than seven percent needs stone. Needs stone. Okay. Chloride on roads. Chloride. Every time we grade, we chloride the crap out of them. So. <laughs> noticed it was getting a little dusty. Well, places. that's because of the rain and stuff, Eric. Uh, it basically took took our fines that are on top. 
Yeah. So everything needs to be turned over and regraded again. Oh, uh, yeah. So then we get our fines back and then we'll pack back down at the core of it. So. Oh, what did I forget? Oh, sidewalks. Uh, out in front of the Hardwick Inn. We want to do those sections there. So uh, rip that all out and then we'll patch in back the post office too. Jeff Perry's going to get a hold of me when he has time. Uh, hopefully he said within a few weeks and we can get that done too downtown. So, so that section that got torn up is going to get, it'll turn back into sidewalk. Right. Over, over, over at the post, post office. office. Yeah, it's just that uh, it'd probably only take a yard, Sherry, yeah. but you're going to get charged three yards yeah. of concrete. So we might as well. Do both. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're doing both that same thing. Good. So, thank you. And I don't know. You want to mention anything about speed the bumps? Or I know he was saying something about speed lumps. You want yeah. to know something about them? Yeah. I did get prices on them. Oh, okay. Uh, I just wait for the go-ahead from you guys if you want. Is to this for the parking lot? Yes. Yes. So want let's save that for the traffic. Yes, the transportation item number two. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Uh, all right, next, Aaron Cochran, police report. Okay. We're starting you five minutes late, so. I'll try to make this one fast. Yeah. <laughs> it gets warmer up here as the night goes on. It does. Um, I met with uh, uh, some East Arctic residents at uh, the end of June uh, to discuss some speed concerns, speed issues, uh, what I had found um, in doing a modified speed study with the, with the uh, signs, et cetera. Um, they were, um, you know, glad to have me come up and, and talk about that. Um, we, uh, I did speak with Greensboro about the speed cart. Uh, mm -hmm. They have decided to purchase that, voted to purchase that. They did. Um, so they're going to purchase that. Uh, Great. Five hundred dollars. Um, Is that already up there right now? It's, it's in Greensboro right it's now. Christmas yeah. party money. Yeah. So, um, so that's off the plate, out of the way. Uh, good job. And put to good use. And put to good use. Yep. Uh, officers did assist with uh, traffic uh, for Greensboro's 4th of July parade. Uh, their funky 4th that they have. Um, so we had officers up there doing that. Um, just with 4th of July is a little late, but just a reminder. Um, when it comes to fireworks, um, people need to obtain a permit. The permit doesn't cost anything, but they can obtain a permit through the police department, and uh, then they will. They need to get the fire chief's uh, signature and a police chief's signature. And if they have those permits, it reduces a lot of aggravation for both of us because if we get a complaint, we know whether a permit is issued, etc. Um, and the consequences for not getting a permit are much greater. So, um, is there a fine? There is a fine. It's actually a criminal charge. Oh wow! Um, so, uh, so much rather have people come to us so that we kind of know where mm -hmm. you know the fireworks are going to be, etc. And uh, it's much easier for our, everybody. Um, saves time having to respond to some of these complaints that could be unnecessary. So, um, so for next year or any other time that somebody's thinking of uh, fireworks. Uh, I had uh, 201, uh, June was extremely busy. Uh, as you can see, we had 201 incidents uh, for the month of June. Um, in June, we were still down um, personnel at that point in time, so it was a lot of incidents for what we had uh, for personnel. Also, um, had mul multiple assists to uh, fire, rescue squad, uh, multiple crashes, uh, responded to multiple alarms, Citizen disputes, dog complaints. Um, so we were pretty busy with a wide gamut of stuff the month of June. Um, Why they call it Little Chicago? Yeah. Um, it wasn't even hot yet. New, I know. In June hadn't even the the heat hadn't even really. Like hit this weekend, so. hard pay. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, the new cruiser, I did order that as we had discussed, um, so that's ordered. Supposed to be, supposedly Ford Motor Company's building all the 2020 Explorers in June for an August delivery. I'll believe it when I see it. Usually. Three it's weeks. I ordered a truck three weeks, got here three weeks. Really? That's good. But you so. send yours out for lights after this, right? Yeah, well, we actually do them in state now. We actually right. have somebody, but yes, yeah. They'll, so there's that to add some time. Yeah, there's yeah. some time to yeah. 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 back in between, but. Uh, I don't want to forget. New truck too, right? Did I get ready? Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, Bali was in New York. It's supposed to be here in Wollaston today. So 
so we'll go switch things around. So hopefully sorry, in a few sorry, weeks. No, I just thought of it. <laughs> Other things that take forever. Yeah, uh, well, it, before we've been there on those trucks yeah. before. Yesterday we did have another overdose. Um, it was a heroin overdose yesterday. Um, our, our officers responded. Um, they were the first ones there. I administered three doses of Narcan. A uh, person came back around, did survive, was transported by rescue after that. So, uh, so. That's traumatic. It is. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, it was actually our newest officer and did, he did a great job. So, um, so yeah, but those just continue. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. All right. That was actually on the road when that happened. The individual was driving at the time. Really? So, Should they get charged? So, uh, no, probably not because there's not really a real way to charge. Um, well, they're certainly under the influence, aren't they? Sort of, yes. They're under the influence, but being able to prove it is not easy in that particular situation. Just un under the circumstances of, of this particular one, it'll oh, be yeah. difficult. But yeah. Hey, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, where are we? Next up. Aaron, you got us back on. Thank Good you. Enough. Get you back on track. I told yeah. you to keep it short. Next is Hardwick Electric Report. Mike Sullivan, tell us what's happening across the road. Okay. Um, it's been a while since I've been here, so I, I think I'm giving you updates to things I've talked to you about before. If I'm cracking a new egg, back me up. Mike, would you have to speak up just a little bit? So I had a hard time. Okay. Uh, so I believe I spoke to you about some major circuit upgrades we had upcoming, and uh, three of them, one in East Harbor, one in Harbor, and one in and I'm happy to report we're over two weeks ahead of schedule on those. Uh, the Walcott Sluice Gate project, I know I've talked to you about that. We're in our final, uh, final, final engineering evaluation where uh, our consulting engineers actually went into the sluice and did some sonic testing uh, through the steel sleeve and into the concrete because they, are cons they were concerned that building this bulkhead that we're going to in the sluice would actually pull the tube and everything right out of the foundation of the button. And this is a six foot diameter, one inch thick steel pipe embedded in the concrete. So they designed it such that we're going to have 30 anchors, foot long, one inch rod anchors, holding that tube in place before they build the bulkhead. So that's the final design thing we had to do. Now they'll start actually designing the bulkhead and get it in there and get that thing moving. And that whole thing is about dam safety if we need to relieve the pressure on the dam. That thing needs to be operable and hasn't been open since 1970. Um, all our other annual dam safety inspections are scheduled for next week. Um, year to date, our revenues are 2%, just slightly over budget, and the expenses are 4% under budget. And Hardwick Electric's big news is that yesterday we signed an agreement for the H11 with Encore Redevelopment, and that thing is going to be built. Um, they're expecting 12 months worth of time for permitting and all the stuff they have to go through uh, based on other projects that they've done recently. Uh, and if it does take the 12 months, which I don't think it will, uh, but that's their safeguard. They're saying it could be 12 months. They'll be online uh, with a commercial operations date, first of September next year. So about a year from now. I, I believe it'll be quicker, but that's the, they'll be on by then. Um, Can you tell us a little about the ownership structure of that? So is sure. that something that's owned by HED and you're hiring them to do it, or? No, nope, the structure is that um, they're going to build it, they're going to maintain it, and if something goes wrong with it, it's their responsibility to fix it. Uh, they have minimum energy amounts they have to deliver to us annually. Um, and for them doing all this stuff, we buy all the power and all the um, financial attributes, so renewable energy credits, capacity dollars, all of it at a kilowatt hour rate 
that's the lowest of any belt or solar project that's happened so far in the state. So hats off to Lynn for a lot of help with that purchase power agreement and that contract work, which is what she does. So she was kind of our ace in the hole on that. It was really good. Uh, and another piece on that is the original plan uh, had the exit circuit for the project going down the snowmobile trail through the property. And that's been moved. It's going to go up Billings Road, so we avoid a lot of wetlands problems, delineation problems, uh, tree clearing that was going to cause problems. So, uh, and Eric asked me about it. Yeah, it's going to affect the trails, and so we're not going to have any effect on it. Anybody have any questions about it? This is a tangent. Um, but I was up and down Route 7 over the weekend. There are a lot of big projects over there, all of which are fenced, all of which have got amazing crops of weeds underneath these panels. Is anybody talking about sheep? Running a herd of sheep in there to uh, feed the sheep and keep keep the stuff under control. I don't know it's going to be an issue for you, but but you're involved in these conversations, and I wonder. They, a lot of companies do use sheep. As a matter of fact, uh, I have a buddy who works for Kauai Electric in Hawaii. They just built a big uh, solar and battery storage uh, unit that's about three times the size of the H11, which is going to be eight acres of panels, and it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. And they use sheep in Hawaii. But in our pit, it's not really no, going to be an issue. Be an issue. But yeah, entities do use sheep, absolutely. Goats, too, because they eat even more stuff than sheep. Yeah. And this will be fenced. Uh, they all have to be. There's a requirement that all those facilities have to be fenced. But we don't have any, any other plans for sheep. <laughs> Down the banana belt down there, they would be doing something about it. That's you mean down, down in Route 7? fertile land down there, they planted those things on. Uh, yeah. Alabama Power has a big thing too where they use sheep, not goats, in their rights of way. And uh, rather than using herbicides, they replaced uh, you know, pristine areas and stuff. They, they use sheep, and it's highly effective and uh, cost effective too. So. You get two for one? Yeah. It, it, it. So that's probably an up and coming. Well, you want to see back now. Yeah. We're not used to have a lot of sheep. Maybe they're coming back. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. One other thing about that, my other question I think last time was we had, and I didn't, I was going to try to talk to you before this meeting and I didn't get around to it, but um, it, previously we had discussed the possibility of the town directly engaging in the H11 project in some yeah. way. Is that now I'm in a position to start having that discussion. Okay. Yeah. That's been kind of a back burner until we get this yeah. piece settled. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, we, so okay. So we didn't miss it. In fact, no, we waited. We waited day. long enough. We'll be hearing from me for, uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Somebody needs to look at what we've committed to already yeah. over at um, yeah, Dairy Dynamics. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Thank you. Question: Do you have any idea the progress of your audit? Uh, the audit is all but done. The, um, they were here with their last few things, I believe, Friday, late, Thursday or Friday, late the last week. So all their work is done. They just need to build the product and hand it to us now. So. Is he um, yeah, I for it, so I was just curious. Just they, they committed to me first week of August when they engaged, so I think they're on track to do that. Okay. And just so you all know, I don't know if I communicated that before, but the auditor that we had lined up passed away. So everything kind of. And then when you're trying to get an auditor during the height of auditing season, yeah, it was not easy. But anyway, yeah, it's on. It's coming. Thank you. 
Okay. Any other questions for Mike? Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Yeah, can you state your name? Brenda, hold here. Okay. I don't know if this is a question really that has anything to do with Harvard Electric, but, and this may be actually uh, to do with the telephone company, I'm not sure, but um, in the athletic field, across the athletic field, there's some really low lying lines, and I can stand there and put my hand up and touch them. I don't know if that has anything to do with the electric company or not, but it looks dangerous to me, really unsafe for kids who could maybe want to do that. Where? Where? Right across from the athletic field. It's Which school? Up behind the elementary school? Yeah, elementary, oh, school. elementary school. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that fire service stuff? That's um, telephone, telephone, that's their main, main line, is that big okay. cable about that big ground? Yeah, our, the power lines end like one span from the paper that's going up the hill. I know the wires you need. They're not, they're not power wires. That oh, okay. are so they're wires. not a safety. They could be, but they're not ours. <laughs> <laughs> you don't carry that extra. Right. You don't carry our stuff. Okay. Well, don't need more of your <laughs> well, it might be something you might want to take note of. So next up is item number one, which is select board to review and approve proposed 2020 coin drop schedule. Looks good. I move that we approve that immediately and authorize <laughs> and authorize the town manager to, to fill, fill the other slot. Day at his earliest convenience. Somebody wants it. Somebody want to second that? Second. All right. Any other discussion about the coin drop schedule? It's the usual suspects and the usual slots, I think. Yes. Yeah, well, we missed it again, but... Ah, but there's still a slot. There's a slot. Take yeah. the 20th of August. You want it? You're in. You, you can talk to the town manager directly yep. after the meeting, and you're we'll in. Take care of that. All right, good. It's full. All right, beautiful. Well, uh, did I just hear she did the recommendation right now, so it's done? Yeah, you want to show it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. wants it. There you go. The select board's here, so it's their pro it's your, it's your preference. So, so who did we add? No cards. No cards. So, do you want to amend your motion to? I amend my motion to approve the 2020 schedule as it is now written. With net cards. With net cards on the 20th, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, not the 20th, on the month. Uh, August. 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 Second. Uh, we have a second over here. Okay. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. That was efficient. Um, and thank you to everybody who organized that. Um, next is item two, select uh, Town of Hardwick Transportation Assessment Discussion. So, okay, so I believe my, my feeling on this, others may have different feelings, but it's, yeah. it's my feeling that we ought to, um, that it's time that we move toward not just looking at studies and thinking about maybes and could be's, but actually start thinking like, all right, let's do something about our Main Street area, that crazy intersection, the crosswalks that are, are that you can't see people because of the way the cars are parked, and figure out where we can have parking if we if we remove parking spots on the street and that kind of thing. So, to that end, I think. Um, the town manager's office had forwarded two uh, older studies. There was a NVDA, VTrans town study from 2009, a local motion one, which just has Hardwick as like a, not a footnote, but as one of many towns um, and not as, uh, not as much uh, resolution or definition to things. But anyway, my hope is just to get the ball rolling, think about um, and Sherry, I think too, right? Wanted to, you're the one who yeah, I on this. and I was uh, you know it's part of the town plan, so I um, uh, tried to check in with MVDA and also with the planning commission because it's in there. Mm -hmm. I wondered if we couldn't um, create a little task force action um, between the planning commission and select board members. I'm willing to work on that and figure out some some like phases in 
proposals for mm -hmm. actually taking some action sooner than later. And come up with something to do well, what? Yeah. Well, we can put some speed bumps in tonight, but there are other things that we need to take a look at. No, if we're going to if we're going to take a look at purchasing um, more signage, or you know, we could you know, unless you want to work that out tonight. So, in this. Um, uh, 2009 report. There are some things. There are a bunch of things that we've already done, really. and there are things that we haven't done. And there are things that we haven't done. And there's things that we're doing. And there are things that are in motion. So for one of the recommendations in there is to put up signs on the stop signs that are flashing light intersection that say traffic from right or left does not stop. And that you, Sean, they're, they're ordered up. Already ordered because cool. of, from our from a previous meeting. So we we're working on that. There's other stuff. There were a lot of sidewalk recommendations, things for South Main Street that got done. Uh, stormwater separation on South Main Street was in that. Um, I think task force is a good idea. Mm -hmm. You do. Let's move forward. With it. So I think. Tonight. So the sign you're talking about that's coming up Walker Street. It says traffic does not stop. No, the right no, 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 no. South and North Main, respectively, at the underneath the stop signs, it would say traffic from the right does not stop. And if you're coming in from uh, coming Route 14 North and you come to the flashing light, it's going to say traffic to the left does not stop. Well, I've stopped at that stop light a lot of times, yeah. and that's never been the issue. It's the people coming up that they'll stop it. Yeah. We get to keep keep moving. This <laughs> I think it's both. It's, it's both. It's it, it really is both because people coming up stop. That's absolutely correct. It's everything. But also, yeah, it's all familiar. drivers. Yeah. I've been I've been driving up through and people just pull out. They think, well, I, they think watch, I'm supposed to if stop. If you actually sat there and watched that inter, in, intersection yeah. right there, some people coming from Woodbury Way up towards Red Red Light, they'll actually stop probably before 25 to 30 feet before the intersection. And then once they don't see any cars, they'll just bomb right down around the corner when cars are coming up through. Right. They don't go far enough. Look, don't and part of the reason for that is because that street drops down into the. And also, there's no place for the stop sign because we have people parking in the middle of the intersection, so you can't put the stop sign where there it's supposed is a stop to be. There's a stop sign there, but it's not. Yeah, if you stop at the stop sign, you can't see. You don't on need the a stop sign at of the intersection. You okay. could be at least 25 feet or more back from the floor from the intersection. So you, well, just, you just need to stop bar. Need something. Stop yeah. bar. Stop line. The line. Yeah. Having parking there does confuse so anyway, things. Let's get on to the task force. You want to pass it on to a task force? Well, if we're going to be done, it's going to take Yeah, some it's going to take some doing. And also, I just want to point out that in reading through that again, I've looked at it years before, but it actually does does say that this is like a preliminary, like here's what we worked on, here's our preliminary assessment, you need to look at it again and decide how you're going to move forward kind of thing. So it's not just you take this, they're not, it's not yeah. like this is the solution, no. it's right. like here's what we see mm -hmm. and you're going to need to take it and take it the next step. And then we need to refer to our town plan because yeah. we have plans. Um, we just may not have uh, specific enough plans. Yeah. But if additional signage is already underway, that's a good thing. An important thing to look at, too, is the federal guidelines for the distances for crosswalks. The reality is it may mean eliminating crosswalks because they're too close to that intersection. Well, I pulled up the intersection tonight, and there was three people jaywalking between... One crossing right directly from Bond or from O'Reilly, one crossing right through the whole intersection, and one walking down on the other side, down around the corner, all in that intersection. Three people, three men, grown men, with enough gray hair so they should have known better to stay out of that road at 5:30 at night. So you can paint, you can put signs up, <laughs> you can do whatever you want to do. Right. Um. Dave, can you state your name? Oh, David Gross, Chair of the Hardwood Planning Commission. Um, this has come up, as you well know, the town plan we're just wrapping up now. Um, uh, accelerated a little bit at the end here for reasons we're familiar with. Um, but looking forward, um, it's going to be out of our hands. We have you know, a public meeting of the final product and then it's going to be in the select board's hands to do their revisions and public meetings and then there'll be a done deal. But obviously transportation, pedestrian, uh, uh, safety and uh, also for access and business is all 
the recommendations are there, but nothing specific, you know. Um, so we would be free, and I think it would be appropriate for the Planning Commission to um, partner up and help hold some um, uh, research, data, data compilation, public meetings, input, that type of a thing, so you guys can go on with your normal business um, with obviously uh, a liaison from the select board be great to come in and you know participate with that and then once we have something that seems like it's ready to present for input that would make sense in other words the bylaws got done the town plans got done and we actually finally have some time to uh, maybe do some so you're planning. so are you volunteering the planning commission to take the lead on this essentially I, I think the idea of partnering up yeah. but that's we have it um, um, you know we've been as you know for the past couple of years straight on out uh, revising bylaws and then town plan um, and now we're finally going to actually have a breather of it where we can start addressing these things with like what does the town the village of Hardwick, the town of Hardwick want to do. Um, by the way, also the village of East Hardwick is very much interested in the whole idea of sidewalks, pedestrian, speed type things. So that could all be incorporated um, both for Hardwick Village and uh, East Hardwick Village. I think for this we should um we should probably be more focused than that. I think we should focus, we should have some focus if we're going to focus on the whole town. It seems like for this commission, it seems to me it'd be better to focus on to like that intersection, you know, maybe including the parking, but also the intersection, kind of, the parking lot, the crosswalks, kind of <coughs> that whole mess. Well, because even like, this, yeah, that whole, like that walk of the whole mess. Because <laughs> even that um, transportation study from 2009. Main Street. <laughs> goes is bigger scope, I think, than mm -hmm. I would suggest we deal with now. I mean, that starts way out by Greensboro Garage, comes through town, and goes all the way out to um, across from Hayes there, the intersection. Yeah. So I think, at least my vision is in the short term, let's address the just downtown, the, the, down, the crazy intersection and that one block of Main Street and mm -hmm. see if we can come up with a plan that's actionable. I mean, we've had I, I've seen a bunch of plans. There's an older one, even with a mm -hmm. with a rotary, um, but didn't address the slope issue, and it wasn't really clear that it would it actually fit. A, it was drawn on a flat desk. <laughs> it was drawn, there. but but really, like to try to come up with something that we think we could actually do. And I think also it's important to have input early on from folks. Down, I know there are business owners downtown who have strong opinions about. Um, uh, so let's get this task force formed. Yeah. Danny, do we know a motion to form a task force? Well, I don't in know that we conjunction with the planning commission or the, with what? Yeah, what? I mean, I think what? Yeah, Dave is we proposing. have a motion. To I'll make that motion. A couple select with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's at least Sherry. two. Sherry and. I'm happy to be her. one. No. <laughs> I got, I got real time problems I gotta work on. Yeah, this is a long term. This is not gonna be quick, I don't think. It's gonna need to be quicker than it's been. Quicker than it's been. Because we have spent a lot of time the talking problem about is, this. It's gonna be a huge disruption to the main Absolutely. Street, well, whenever we end up actually parking. doing something, Lots it's gonna be a disruption. Loss of parking is a That's right. Absolute Absolutely. Absolutely. No so, question about it. Just, I'm not fine with it. But it's high time. Okay, I did, I'm not arguing the point, but I'm just yeah. saying it's not. Right. Yeah, it's, no, it's going to, you have to think it through. Come up Tracy, do you want, can you state your name? Um, Tracy Martin, <clears throat> citizen. I have no control. But I'm just like. You can make Charles name, no, I'm not quite as well. Pretty close. I would just like to say, as a frequent pedestrian in downtown, I would hope you would expand the vision a little bit beyond just that intersection, and at least think to, like, where the sidewalks go to, like, the village market in that area. Like, one block at least from 
you know, where people generally walk in the down, in concentrated downtown. That's they, dangerous. They're the most cost Yeah, too, exactly. And the sidewalks are in horrible condition. It's just not friendly to people who are trying to just do business, park on one end of town and just go over here. So it's the obviously the most dangerous piece is that intersection and those crosswalks. But I'd like, I hope you would look at sort of that work. Because I also think doing it piecemeal, you can actually create problem, you know, unintended. I think you have to kind of look a little bit more, yeah, to sort of, anyway, just yeah. one citizen's opinion. The first there we go. The scope of the scope yeah. of the project. Yeah. project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how do we want to do this? Do we want to say um, we're asking the planning commission and we're going to have select board liaison? How are we, or are we going to try to recruit some other folks? Or are they gonna, just going to get input from other folks? I would think that you need to keep it between a couple planning commission members, a couple select board members, and two get some things at least figured out before. Let's like let's go. Anyway. At least try to narrow it down to what we're going to focus on and then... With input from... Because there'll be input. It's a Plenty of opportunity for input before this is over. Okay. Yeah. I'd be happy to work on it. Good deal. You're all, all right. off the hook, just saying. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So this just took you off the hook. So we're gonna. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the official do. So we're gonna. You just get together, folks. We're Is it a, a subcommittee task or a task force? Yeah. Is it a task force, Zach? I guess. Didn't it we go through this it once is. before? But I mean, it's the planning commission that's kind of part of their. Yeah, but it's, it's our charter, so it's the classic of we can have it at our meetings. We're not that big. Yeah, you know? right. Um, and I think we have a, uh, a good group with a good diverse uh, input uh, yeah. across uh, all the town. So when are the meetings? Second Tuesday. And then, except for the ones when we're now throwing in extra ones. <laughs> so, um, yes, but the second Tuesday of each month. Uh, 6.30, this room usually, or downstairs, um, um, but in the municipal. So the, media, the next couple of meetings, you, you're the still next, occupied? The, the very next that. meeting is going to be finalized in the town plan on the 30th. It's a special meeting, then they were going to have the meeting and a public hearing for the town plan on the second Tuesday of August. And then I'd have to check with my zoning administrator for my marching orders of how we're going out, whether we need another one or we're sending it over to you. Yeah, and the sure. clock starts on that. I think it goes to the select board after the early August meeting. Yeah. So I recollect okay. And then we have to have a public hearing, too. There's a lot of public hearings. Yeah. And there's a 30 day. Uh, yeah. Right. So, so we're trying to get that all done as quickly as possible. Right, because our expiration date is approaching. Well, we, because of the weather and uh, um, some other illness issues, we got set back. And also, um, we had some business that ate up some of our months. Um, we got set back. We were hoping to get it in under the wire. We're going to get very close. So yeah. Yeah. we may be able to add an extra meeting in in that first week of August that actually focuses on this task force, do you think? Yeah, the problem is... Um, we're going to up vote to, I think, this, we're having a special meeting this, the 30th of this month. At that point, we will um, finalize the plan and then basically um, um, vote to have the public hearing on the second Tuesday of August. So that basically will be on uh, the clock there. Then it's just a minimum uh, time span between uh, each. So you can really meet on this one after the second week in August, does it sound like? Uh, no, you can't really. Sorry. <laughs> uh, unless it gets kicked back to us or there's some like provision, but yeah, we can. Starting in uh, uh, September would be where we'd be freed up, you know, as far as. Okay, well. Get ready for uh, Wednesday to contact you to set up a meeting yeah. before September. We can have the discussions before then. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, I'm not waiting. I, 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 I'm not going to move on to speed bumps.
notes here pretty soon, but oh. we're going to meet before September oh, for this task force. Yep. 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 So, yep. We get the, okay, so I think we're settled. I'm so sick of this topic. I want to get it figured out. So, so, so what we're doing is essentially we're, we're appointing Cherry and Wiz to go um, work with the Planning Commission on coming up with a better traffic pedestrian Solid plan. Issue. Butter, however it is to embrace the downtown traffic problems. Embrace the blinking light. Uh, <laughs> pedestrian, walkability, so, uh, etc. Do we need to vote or what's the There's motion? Chair made a motion. I made a motion. A second. What was your motion? To create the task force. To include the planning Danny commission? It. Yep. To include the planning commission and you and Wiz. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Sounds good. Aye. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Danny already said Danny. aye. All right. Any opposed? All right. Motion carry. So that's great. Thank you guys yeah, for so your willingness. So now let's talk about speed bumps. So yeah. speed bumps. So, well, should we hold off on those and let you all nope. help integrate? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Honestly, no. So we talked about it for like a year and a half. Okay. Let's try them out. In the village, in the village diner party. The, the background on why this is on the agenda, I believe, is that um, we were going to talk about the traffic thing, and um, I remember we talked about speed bumps at some point when John was still here. And it turns out it was the last meeting when John was here, and Sean, they were both here, and oh. we talked about it. And then I don't know what happened, you know, the transition and everything. Yeah. I'll blame yes. that on John, then we lost track of it. Right. Yeah. yeah, we'll let that. <laughs> I came in and I didn't like, follow up. He's not here. We'll blame it on him. All right, so what are we doing? So basically, all we did so far is we asked Tommy to look into um, what, what feasibility is, what's wide, the cost. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, they're six feet long, but foot wide, but two inches high. They're about 130 bucks a piece. Nail them to the ground. Plow them up in the park. And we're talking about speed bumps on the entrance right. to the parking lot by the diner, right? Well, well if you're going to do one, I'd probably do three. I'd do one at the entrance, one in the middle, and one almost towards the end. Yeah. So you'll just be so spending six. 400 bucks. It's six of them though. Nope. Six foot long. Yep. It's six foot long. So you put well, seven? some of your no, 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 no. no right dead center, tires. right down through Danny. Well, I'm going to strive on it. No, you are not. I don't know if you'll be able to. I mean, six it's pretty, pretty tight in there. I don't think so. But Let's see if you can. Your vibe is yellow. Uh, black and yellow. Yep. Black and yellow. Yep. Oh, they'll see them when they hit them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the call I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, you're not going to get plenty of calls on this. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling your office. Yeah. He's shaking some attention into these things. He's going to be whining members. about that. But well, anyway, I make the motion we put speed bumps in. I like and I'll second it. <laughs> okay. Let's so do it. Are there okay, some downsides so for this speed bump so thing? Like, we have do we need to take them out in the winter? Or no, no, we'll plow them up. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, we'll <we'll> smack them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll be in a pot. Uh, they, 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 you have to buy them every year because they're going to get ripped up? Or okay, they they back no, down. no, they're rubber. We can just pull them up. So. Okay. Pull them up okay. and yeah. put them back down. Pull them back down next year. All right. Let's, Let's give it a try. Yeah. So you're you're on board with giving it a try? Hey, I'll do whatever you want. He's got to be. I just made the motion. to do it. If you want them down, I'll put them down. Right. Yeah, right All right. So, any more discussion? We have a motion and a second to install three. Tom to do his three speed bump um, application to in the diner lot. Strategic, strategic, Strategically placed. That's right. That's what to I'm catch saying. Danny so he can't straddle. Yep. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Anything else you need tonight, Sherry? I wanted to hear about the signs that we have ordered because I haven't heard about them. They're right this there. Yet. Pete already said. Yeah. Didn't you say you, or, you ordered the signs? It's for just, the, just on either side of the of the blinking light. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Where the, where the stop signs are now, if you're on either uh, South Main or North Main, where you come to the light, the blinking red, and you would have a stop sign to your right, we have, uh, we're placing an order for signage that goes directly under the signs. It was scoped out in the 2009 study, actually. Mm -hmm. So depending on which tra direction you're traveling from, it would say uh, traffic from the right does not stop and or traffic from the left does not stop. No and or. So Can we add to that? And have one doesn't on see the stop sign. How is yeah. he going to take time to read that cuts underneath it? Because he's already run through the stuff. The problem is they're already going through. The stop sign means stop. Well, the other Every stop sign has an intersection where traffic comes from a different direction. Well, I think there's a set of people that just go straight through. Yeah. And then there's a but set of people that stop up. and don't realize. They're done. They're ordered. Let's put them up. Yeah. Yeah. But can we do an additional one on <laughs> Wolcott Street? Just keep going, idiot. That says... That says... <laughs> 
you know, I think we should start the, don't that one the fire department and say blinking yellow light means yeah. proceed. I thought about Something. making it. What about blinking? Know. What about just a solid answer. green? Bl a green blinking. Not blinking. Well, what if you have green arrow to the left? Can't with be blinking. Green. It can't be because it's you caution. You got to slow down. Yeah. It's Still terrible. Terrible. We're back to well, the basic rules of the road. Just, like, no, no, yeah, it's right. true, but it could say, you know, uh, proceed think, with caution. Or let's start with the two that are ordered. Do this. Yeah. So the committee can work yeah. on this. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we designing the intersection? I'm on another exactly. sign already. I, yeah, I don't <laughs> think Doug, you want to chime in? What about putting a sign up that says we'll come around the corner before the post office slow down? Because the number of times I've got a nail trying to pull out of the post office, I'm sure we could put up two million signs. We come up here. Why don't you stop and just give them half? Well, we are signed to death, and no one cares about what signs say or they're oh, going to do what they want to do. Crosswalk sign over right in front of Paris Town. Yeah, they, he drove right, right over square. the square. Drove right over right. the top. Hit it with oh, both really? tires. Hit the curb with both tires. He was. My daughter saw him do it. He was right in the park. Right in the park in my That the big crosswalk yeah. sign. Laid it right on the ground right there. Boom, both front tires. Right at the pop out. The, <laughs> the, at the pop out that they oh, built. No so, way. Yeah, just yeah. last week. That's amazing. <laughs> the other problem we run into in the National Highway traffic doesn't yeah. recommend a lot of signs, especially at intersections, because they get confusing. So yeah. if a person yeah. is reading the signs instead of paying attention to what they're supposed right. to be doing Read at the, the first intersections. four letters that are white on yeah. a big red octagon. It says stop. They actually have a... The training I went to a month ago, they actually had a video which is a f joke about, well, let's do this with this sign and this sign, and it goes on all about these signs, and you see this intersection with oh, so. 100 signs up, and nobody, re you know, you d it just, Tom's right, you have to be just careful chaos. about how complicated it is. I agree with the intersection. Let's put the ones up we got in order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, yeah. I feel like yeah. the yeah. intersection is self-explanatory. Okay, see if it works. Not, right. Sort of someone we're going to we're not all the signs left over when we change the main street. That's right. So We're going to make it a rotary. On an angle. Yeah. It's going to be like a, I don't know, it's a new speed track thing. I mean, if you want, like this fall, we plan on rebating paint the crosswalks again. Yeah. We can do an experiment and paint them bright green, like some other some town, other with a little white stripe right. on the end. Might as well. We right. can do that. We can see that here. Mom, have you done that now? I see, I was somewhere the other day. Where they put it's easy green. to do an experiment because that, I mean, the paint, yeah. no matter what we do, it doesn't last, so mm -hmm. you may as well try something different. Yeah. yeah. Bring it a little bit more like this. Okay. You know, the other thing I was wondering about is that if that, the, the I think the um, the line when you come up for 15 from Morrisville, that there's a break in the center line around that corner. Like in theory, it should just keep to the left, right? We should be continuous no, line. No, because you got to turn. You can't. Right. You got to turn. Oh, because, oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? That's what we can't yeah. do. Or can you do a dotted line? line? I've seen that. So that it's like obvious that that's like. No. No. Okay. No, we have to have a break in the intersections for the lines. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, signs are up, Sherry. Yeah. Good place to start. You're getting hungry, people. Danny's getting hungry. We still got things to do. I give up. All right, so you give up. You made some. And everything you wanted. No, I'm getting. I'll. I'll get some. <laughs> <I'll>, later. <laughs> I mean, the only other thing you can think of, Sherry. I mean, I would probably put them up just down on Main Street sign next to the buildings are the solar panel blinking lights. So yeah, the and I would look. love to see that happen. Those are, so I think I priced them out for Sean. I think they're like twenty five or $2,600 a piece. So that's something we want to budget for. Yeah. Is that? So, is there really a problem? Well, I, I don't, hmm. think, well, I don't think you need them on like the diner side because you're visible. You're, you're very visible on that side. Yeah. So I don't think you really have to do it on that side. So the people should see someone standing there. Right, you do. But it's you when people are darting out from the cars. Between the, the cars. Parking side. Close it might be a, a good thing to do before we do bump outs in an entire big yeah. project. At, at least the one right at the diner on that side. Well, I would say that one and the swinging bridge are the two bridge, most two bridge dangerous ones. Those are the yeah. two where I most at least frequently almost get hit. When you hit. get down farther, at least the intersection widens out. Right. You know, people yeah. could actually see a little more visibility. And they're not as bad. But. Well, we'd want feedback from the task force. If the better solution is we eliminate the parking space right next to the crosswalk, so you increase your visibility. And do it. And do a bump task out. Task force discussion. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nicely yeah, well, done. Well, it's coming. <laughs> okay. It's coming. Uh, All right. Good. It's part of the recommendation three. that's coming. I'm, uh, okay. If I have it's anything to do with it. All right. <laughs> ready, I, Those ready, blinking I lights. We're, we're ready to accept move. the painting bid from <laughs> Jesus Crow. Well, Sorry, all right, all right, all right. Yes, yeah, so we have a um, item three is a uh, painting contract for the depot needs paint. There's a, uh, already, it's already gone out to bid. There's uh, 
the historical society is recommending we go with a low bidder, um, and that's the recommendation. And somewhere we have a price too. I can't find it right now. Sixteen thousand dollars. Okay. Not to exceed. Note Not to exceed. exceed. No. Note to exceed. 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 All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So you're making the motion that we accept. Danny made the motion we accept that bid. Second that. Do we have any discussion on that? Uh, authorize town manager to enter into a contract. Absolutely. And authorize yep. it. That's part of the motion. Thank you. That's standard. <laughs> That's a standard end to all my motions. <laughs> At least Sean asked. John has never asked. So, <laughs> ooh. All right. Any, any dis more discussion on that? All right, all in favor, please say aye. 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 And thank you to everyone who got that done because that's a, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, and I know it takes time. Next is item four, adoption of town, 2019 town road and bridge standards <laughs> template. So the thing is we do this with some regularity, but this time it is changed. The form has changed. Um, and uh, Casey, I believe, found us a nice summary of the of the changes. Um, it's funny because it's just the old one and the new one are just two page documents, so you wouldn't think it'd be that big a deal, but they are quite different. But the new one does seem much more um, yeah, I concise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it gives the town a little more. I thought. And so um, they must have had an intern that really worked on it. Our our road foreman and our town manager of gone through this and recommended that we're um, circling yes to we're going to meet the standards on all these things, which is helpful because that um, puts us in line to receive state funding for our highways. I make a motion that we adopt the 2019 Road and Bridge Standards template. Second. All right. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, and it's going to come around for. I think everybody needs to sign it. We're all on top for this one. Here we are. Uh, item five is update on Town of Hardwick Economic Development Fund, and we're just do a brief update. Is that? Is that? Uh, sorry, you're taking notes and no, providing an update. Um, yes. No, it's fine. I already, I already put it in anyway. Um, so just had asked like kind of where we stand for a balance right. and um, then I had to include what we have in remaining commitment to the Yellow Barn project because we had we have had a few expenditures the purchase option and such so with that in mind we right now we have about 15,000 available for remaining. loans um, and, and what do we get per month? About roughly? three thousand now. About okay. three thousand, sometimes thirty-five hundred. We just had another smaller one pay off. That's why, because originally we were we were pretty low, but we just right. set in maybe about ten thousand this month in, in payments. So nice. So how much do we have on this? It's about fifteen. About fifteen available, and that was as of June thirtieth. So that'll go up by about three thousand by the end of the month. Twenty-five hundred to three thousand. That's on the last page of the packet. Yeah, so I had it in your packet. Yep. Well, if you need so, to see it. Uh, great. Um, yeah, I've been keeping, um, if anybody's showing interest, uh, we are keeping a list so we can reach back out to them moving forward. You know, yep. once we, you know, if we see somebody who's looking for maybe some uh, near this or if it's just above and we come back above what's being requested, we are keeping a tally and Good. just so we can reach back out. And our website is, does have a comment, you know, that we have limited funds right now because we had one person who kind of went and started filling everything out only to that? find out that we didn't yeah, have it, so what she needed. So we'll update that we as more it. funds but became available. So never. You think never? I hope so. I think I think it's roughly two years. Are you paying for that with a barn sale or having down there? Is that how they're crazy for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Cookies. Um, thank you. Cookies. All right. So I'm going to say that's good, and we're going to roll into select board reports. Chamber players are at the townhouse tonight. Their season started last week, and all is good. Sounds warm. <laughs> Uh, Historical Society has two brand new exhibits in the middle room. Uh, come take a look. 
We have an Emmy, and it is on display. Wow, you guys won an Emmy. No. <laughs> I didn't uh, say we won. We have an Emmy. Ah, nice. a, a, hard, a Emmy. woman from Hardwick won an Emmy in 1973, and we got her collection, and it contained her Emmy. Well, there you go. Sweet. And so if you uh, ever wanted to touch one. You can't course, touch it. You can't touch it. Uh, but you can look at it. You can look at it. All right, okay. A preliminary Person. engineering and construction has begun on the archival storage. Right. Oh, right. Absolutely. Yeah, because they have all that. Cool. Is that the same thing as uh, the vault downstairs? <laughs> Whatever happened to that? We forgot about that again. <laughs> that's old yeah. business, Danny. Hold on. No, I'm that <laughs> Actually, that's a really good question. We'll slide that right in after the Main Street remodel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did happen with that? <laughs> no idea. It just got no, so We had money in the budget, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we didn't. Alberta, simmer Maybe down. Maybe we could use that money for. We had signs. we had money. So we had, then what happened? <laughs> we had money in the budget. It was we had to put it in I that thought, year. I thought, we yeah. had to. We and had it, to. We had to. Yeah. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, but then it turned out that it wasn't no enough. No choice, but we had to. Right. Yeah, I just why don't I apologize? Happened. I don't know why I do this stuff. That's what. Yeah, you're right, you did. So now we, you brought it up. Now it's out there. Damn. That you know what? Favorite. Let's re let's remember that in November when we're doing budgets okay. and figure out what we well, need to it's add. Alberta's to that. deal, right? It is, but it's not. It, John did research that to get the fire rated door, it was going to be 16 20. instead of right. 10, 20. Closer yeah, to 20. Well. So we ought to start putting up, you know, a couple grand in it per year or something if we want to do it. Right. That's what we put in. That's what we put in in a bulk one year. Yeah. Which was painful. We don't want to do that. We must have left a couple of grand in there, which was like two, two, two. Like we think we only did that at two thousand dollars a year. Yeah. We did. Yeah. Yeah. So we we're, we're building it. So we're we're gaining. Oh, so we're all set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Done. Yeah. It's that's done. That's we can do it in twenty twenty six. Right now. Get right on that. Yeah. Twenty twenty six. Okay. Be Perfect. ready to roll. No, but that's that's Sweet. better than oh. It's better. If we're putting two grand at it, then better you know, another few years. Yeah, we'll 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 yeah. Yes, Tom, I know. <laughs> Everything will be in the cloud then, so you don't have to worry about it. There you go. All right. Uh, okay, any other new business or old business? That was old business, definitely. Pavement. I don't know if everybody, oh. everybody like that or not, but everybody on Glen Side so ripped loves it. So. Everybody likes it. I actually haven't been up there. I did see the uh, Log Yard Road. And that was nice. on Log Yard Road, good, although I did create a little puddle, but what are you going to do? You peed over there? No. Oh. It's holding back a lot. It's slime. It ain't going to be happy. That's a piddle. The junction road a piddle, is nice puddle. and smooth. And who? Uh, I don't know. That's excellent by Tom. The what was? The line work. You did that? Yeah, we did that by hand. You did not. Yeah, we did. Me and Mike did it. We strung that whole thing out, marked it all out, and we went very Mug slow. Mug Yard Road. Look good. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it needs. That, it that, is. That, it, that road needs to be designated so people understand where the road is. Yeah, because it looks like a road now. Everybody understands it's a road. And I did have a question from a citizen about why did we do that? And the, they were coming from at it. it that, that's private, and that section is not. That is the town that's section, so yeah. everybody is aware. Yeah. yeah. And it stops it where it becomes private. Yeah. That's um, really good. The, the state signs, like the sign that says Caledonia Spirits, Log Yard Road, turn, you know, those brown signs, mm -hmm. it's still up. Do they come and take those down? Or? That's all on the state. No. The Caledonia Spirits pays to have those up. There's an annual fee. Oh. We won. Ow. Oh. <laughs> They're still well, there, I just wondered, though. yeah. I All just right. wondered with it. That's the only sign that's still All right. there. All I'm gonna, are gone. I'm going to wrap this and ask for a motion to go into executive session for contracts. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Aye. Who was second? <coughs> sure. uh, uh, Wiz was second on that. Yeah. And thank you, for everybody, for coming. 724.